Um, hi, um, today I'm going to show you how to build a tic-tac-toe game in uh, RStudio. So um, first of all, I'm going to show you um, so what does the game look like. So as I type in the play function, you can see that the computer will ask um, how many players are there. And then, for example, if we type 1, which means we play against the computer. So um, and then we'll say um, if we want to go first or second, so go first. So uh, in this game, X always goes first, and then we can start it to play the game. So if, for example, if I choose the center position, we can see that the X, um, five, the center 5 becomes an X. Then we can also see that the computer also update its position on 1. And for now, I'm going to play the second position. And then you can see that the computer will block me at the 8th position. So now I'm going to play, say, 4. And you can see that the computer also blocked me on the sixth position. So this game is going to be a uh, draw, right? If I play three, and then you can see that um, the computer blocked me at the seventh position. So now if I play nine, it says game draw, and type play to play again. Now we can also see um, what's the winning, what's the winning ending. So we have two players. So if I choose one, and then O should O, let's say just go two. If I play um, 4 for x and then play 3 for o, then now um, if I put 7 and then x is going to win. So we can see that um, yeah, x wins and then type play to play again. So basically this is how the, 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 the games um, show in the console. So now I'm, to go, I'm going to go over the code and to tell you about how I built this game. And also um, this is a homework assignment from one of my lecturers. So uh, I'm going to I'm not going to show you all of the code, but since I think the professor is going to assign the same assignment to this um, uh, to the students, so I'm not going to reveal everything, just for um, yeah. So uh, first of all, I'm going to define all the winning possibilities. So you can see that if one, two, three are all x or all o, which means that um, um, we have a winning we have a winning we have a winning setting, so we have we are going to end the game, and then we are going to say um, there's a player winning, whether whether it's X or O. Also, for obvious, obviously that um, at the beginning of the game there is no winner, so I'm going to set the winner as false, and then there is a nine position, so I'm going to um, put a nine um, character to display, and then for this display function. Can also see that um, yeah. update on state. Then we can see that um, I basically I just put the state, which is a vector, from uh, put it into a, the grid, and then we can see that um, this is how the game look like. The game that the board look like, and then here we have an update function, which means uh, up on on the on on the state. And then we are going to define which player and then which position we are going to update the X or O. So, for example, we are going to update this, the, the, the board for player 1 on the third position. So, which means that um, the third position should now become um, X, O, or S, X. And if we're going to play um, 2, for the fourth position, so the fourth position should be O. Because uh, I haven't run this in the game, so um, I'm still updating on the state, which is which is only nine numbers. So the the, the X doesn't uh, carry over to the next to the next result. Yeah. And for the next function, I have a check winner function. So basically, what it's doing is that to see if the triple the triple condition is satisfied, and then we're going to say whether it's X wins to play again and then or O win and ask the player to play again. If none of the position uh, is satisfied, but all the boards uh, all the boards has been updated, which means there's no uh, no places to put uh, X or O, we should say that the game draw and then ask the player to play again. So basically this is what the check winner function do. And then we also have a check legal function. Which means that if we put, uh, for example, if when it will, um, the basically the function is asking to to 
to type in a number between 1 to 9. But if we type in a number that is not uh, 1 to 9, and then it will say, that, uh, please type the number between 1 or 9. Otherwise, um, there will be a loop. Since this is a while loop, it will just keep asking the player to, to put a number. Also, if on the position that the player put, although it's within 1 to 9, but if that position has, is already, already has an X or O, we will also ask the player to type in a different number. So we can see that um, you already play there again, uh, so try a different number. So, um, so this function will always um, ask the player to put a to put a to to, to play a valid mean. Uh, if if the position is invalid, then it will just keep running this while loop and then keep asking the player to update uh, using a valid uh, position. So now we have a computer time. Basically, this is the core of the of this of this uh, command. So um, basically, I'm not going to show the code here. So this is the essential part for the for the homework assignment. So basically, what the computer turn doing is that um, if, for example, if there's two O in the in two of the each winning in the each triple uh, setting, then for the computer it must play the last the last part. To ensure that the computer would definitely block the players, players, uh, players winning winning setting. So that's I think I already showed you at the when I play the game. So when I have um, two O's in one and two, if the computer is the next move, then the computer would definitely play on the third position to block to block you. And also for this computer turn, I also uh, write a function. I also write a write a write the code to make sure that if the computer has two um, O or two X on the f uh, has two has two in a row, then the computer must play on the third position to make sure that the, that the computer wins. So in this function here, you have to make sure that the computer must block the player if there's two same uh, if there's two X or two O in a row. Or if the computer has a winning position, then the computer must play there to win the game. Just whether blocking or whether winning the game. And for the human versus computer, basically I'm just saying that uh, I'm just going to decide that, um, who is going to play first. If human plays first, and then I'm just going to to basically just um, using this update function and uh, and the computer, computer turn, and then basically I'm just going to iterate both, uh, both of the function, again and again until the check, winner check winner function has been satisfied. So the two play, so human and computer will keep playing until there is a winner or until the game is draw, and then it will it will quit the fun function here. And for the human versus human is is uh is easier. Since um, basically just um, two people typing the numbers until the check winner uh, check winner function has been satisfied, whether it is uh, somebody win or the game draw. And finally, I'm going to do an I'm going to I, I write another play function just to initiate that um, uh, to initiate the game. So I'm going to so when I type in the play function. It will return. Uh, it will ask uh, how many players are there. So basically, uh, you already you already you already see this. Um, so it is uh, one play against the computer, or two like two player versus each other. And so if it is equal to one, then um, then means uh, computer. So human versus computer. And then basically, um, in 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 this function. It's going to iterate between human and the computer until the check winner function has been satisfied. Also, if if two players in the game, and then it will ask um, who who should go first, and then basically just human hum, to updated update function iterate be, until there's until the check winner 
has been satisfied. So uh, basically, this is the logic for the game. So you, so if you want to uh, build a game, you have to have a, a display function to show the the board all the every time if there's a up if there's a, if the computer or the player update the position, and obviously that uh, update which is um, uh, when people type in a number and then uh, it will update the position for for the for the state vector, and also check winner. It's going to help you to quit the function at the at the at, at a specific time when the when the condition has has been satisfied. And the check illegal means uh, just in case if the players or the players type in a different number or even type in not a number, type in some 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 type in letters, not the number. And then it will all, it will keep asking the player, since this is a while loop, it will keep ask the player to type in the number, not some invalid uh, character. And also, if it is out of the bound, for example, if you play eleven, there's no eleven, there's no eleventh position in the board, so it will it will also keep asking you to play with uh, to to type in a number which is between one and nine. And then. There's a computer turn, like uh, how computer is going to block you or how computer is going to win the game. And then there's a human versus computer and then a human versus human part. Basically, just um, if as the, after the player has defined whether it's one or two, and then, and then the, 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 the code is going to choose whether to initiate this function or that function. Um, see if I can show you. Yeah, I think I can show you the human versus human. So until so since there's um until there's no winner, you um the the, the computers keep going to initiate to iterate between um two players. So we can see that if uh, it is X turn and then update the update the the board and then show the board and then see if there's a winner. If there's no winner and then um and then um, and then um, the player become, and then the second player started to play, and then basically the same command for the second player. If there's a no, if there's still no winner, and then uh, the game turns to to for to the to the first player. So since it's a while loop, it will iterate between these two, player one and player two, until there's a winner there. So um, basically. This is all the all the function that you need to build this game. So I hope you enjoy the game and uh, yeah. Uh, let me know if there's any question and feel free to comment at the at the bottom. And uh, thank you.